Hey, Jack Revolt, nice to see you. Boys, how are we? Marcus Bontepelli, great to have you on board. Thanks, gents. You ever busted a thumb, Bont? I haven't, but we play the Tigs um, next week, so I thought about <laughs> squeezing a little bit harder on the way in. He um, me was... <laughs> yeah. um, Started already. But no, I haven't had, you know, a jarred one every now and again, but, um, you know, Jack's Jack's pretty tough, so no doubt he'll he'll find a way to get through it. He'll play this week. Come out. Um, the trivial is is the here and the now, isn't it? Zero and two. Uh, are you a bit jittery about zero and two? What, what are you what, what are you thinking, Marcus? Uh, yeah, not ideal start the season. You always want to start um, the season in a in a winning way, in a winning fashion. I think um, you know both games from a from a football perspective, we've we've shown um, you know our best is is thereabouts. There's probably been elements of, of both games you definitely walk away sort of un, unhappy with the start in the Melbourne game is definitely that from the, the first one and then you know in the, in the second one um, we, we the second quarter probably gets away from us we get to a margin then we find our way back again and have a really good sort of patch through the sort of second and uh, the third and fourth quarters and then really felt like um, you know, to, to the, the Blues' credit, I think they're in really good shape at the minute. I think they've really developed um, their game with the quality of players they've got. Probably across the ground, they're going to be a tough team to, to beat this year, but um, probably felt like we missed out on opportunities probably late in that in that game to, to be a fair bit closer. So um, if you look at it in each game in isolation, there's probably aspects from both games that we would have liked to have done better. But I think from... Looking at it holistically, the football's been been okay. We've just got to tighten the screws on a few things, um, and hopefully that starts Thursday. Well, the grittiness is there, so there's a massive tick. Getting yourself back in the game on the weekend and putting yourself... Yep. Outside, a lot of people, Marcus, are talking about Aaron Norton and the support he needs. Is it Jamara? Um, they miss him, Bruce. Are we, are we off the mark, or in the, within the club, are you also looking to try and find that synergy between Norton and somebody. Mm. Your name's been thrown up. We've got to play Bont and Pally forward. We've got to give Jamara, um, we've got to give him ga consecutive games. Do we play English down there when Steph mm. gets back? Are we far off the mark? No, I think that, the, I mean, the talk, if that's a talk, that's that's what it is. Bevo and, and we at Football Club, you, you talk every year about trying to re-establish yourself. You can't take for given your, your previous form from the from the prior year, obviously playing in the, you know, the one at the end of the year is a, is a massive tick from a, you know, our football development yep. and growth perspective. But probably the, you know, the team at the end of the year, you know, especially probably Brucey, he was the key one from a key forward perspective mm. who, who contributed a fair bit. Um, it is probably the, you know, the chemistry we're still trying to find, what the right look is down there and the right mix. We've got um, obviously pretty good depth from a midfield position. We've got, like you mentioned, a young key forward in Jamara um, who's continuing to develop and, you know, builds more growth with probably each game. So we probably haven't found the, the right mix just yet either. Like it hasn't looked probably quite consistent in the first two rounds and we would have liked. But um, I think you're always trying to evolve on the go a little bit and, and winning probably helps those issues. So you go forward at times. Yep. Is that a runner situation or is that the captain, Bonton Pally? No, hang on, I'll, I'll look at what's going on here. I'm going to push forward, you push up. Do you do that off, yeah, off game, yourself? The game just prior was a coaching decision, so that was from probably half-time. I spent a bit more time there and then probably yep. played the whole the whole last quarter forward. Um, that was a bit because Naughty was, you know, battling a pretty big a big corky, um, and that was probably to give us a bit more help aerially, and obviously Jamara still continued to work through games as a young mm. key forward as well. So... That probably in its, you know, we, we had a number of sort of scoring opportunities and, and, and looks late. We just didn't convert them, but um, Carlton managed to make it pretty difficult for us in the in the last quarter. But I, I, I just feel like we're not far off um, if we can play, you know, a, a tiny bit more consistently and get the game going probably more our way for, for four quarters. We're probably looking in a better spot. Do you think Norton will play Thursday night? Uh, personal view or medical view? Uh, give me either. Give me uh, both. Uh, just based on knowing him and what he's like and how combative he is, I think he'll be there. That hasn't been probably declared just yet medically. Um, he trained a little bit a little bit the other day, but with these corkies, they can be quite significant. can take till the last sort of couple of days to, to really settle. So It was a, it was a big corky too, Jack. Um, mm. Yeah, it was. Especially yeah. those ones in the air. When you plant it, it's often a bit more surface, but in the air, they can be quite deep. So um, he's, a, he's a tough customer, but we'll wait until yeah. tomorrow probably to get the final say. And the Hayden Crozier scenario, was that scary? 
I think it is. Any situation where someone sort of faints out of the blue and, and especially right on half time where we're pretty much just about to roll out for the for the second half um, and, and something like that happens, it does, you know, you, you're only the human to, for that to run through your mind about what the case might be. How do you feel about that, being on TV? I, do, you th do you think that should be broadcast? I don't, personally. It was troubling to see. I've got, so I've got a real issue with that. Game. Yeah, I, I, I was troubling to see it. I looked at it and I went, ooh. Because it, it, so I'm, I'm assuming that it isn't played in real live situation. He had a fit then, mm. and that's on live TV. He's, he's, he's hooked up to. He's got the ECG. ECG. He's got the ECG like, material on. Uh, is that not? That's and way you don't too, want. That's the, way too private. The further, the further thing to it is the stress it creates for then family and, and friends. Exactly. Like I know his phone probably would have been, you know, blowing up post game for people who are caring. A bit like we were saying before with the. The outpouring of support sometimes, but for you know potentially his family and friends who are at home. So um, I did um, that to, to me last <laughs> week. I mean, it's a bit more valuable than me, Bond. So just <laughs> yeah. what, did, did, where were yeah. you when, when you did you see it? How, uh, yeah. how alarming yeah. was it in the room? In the corner of my eye, I saw sort of Hayden slowly moving to you know almost to the ground to probably. Did everyone run over? Did the teammates, or were you still zoned up? Staff, the medical staff were pretty quick onto it, so they really? were pretty much around him, and it was literally just as we were about to. Walk out. We had our sort of final message from Bevo. We we're about to move, move out to the ground to start the game, um, and that happened in probably the last 10 seconds. So um, it's hard to, you know, process that potentially in the game. Like we've had injuries in the past before, where you know you potentially know a teammate's done something serious, but something a bit more like that, mm. which is you know obviously immediately quite alarming. Now, thankfully, Hayden's okay, um, and they'll continue to sort of monitor him and, and, and look after him over the next few days. But um, yeah, not not an ideal situation. I know everyone. What are you? Stay thinking? tuned. Just you've played in the same era as Buddy for a period of your career. Yeah. What, what's your observation of him? Oh, unbelievable! Easily one of the, the greatest of, of all time, if not um, the greatest. It's you know you do reflect on your career at different points probably throughout your career before you get to to the end of it. And I sort of feel like that's one of the things I'm going to be most proud about. Like when you finish up, is to say that you played in the era of, of Buddy and played against him and. Um, have little stories or moments to talk about and tell people. It just feels like he's definitely one of those players. And he says that you're the number one player in the comp. Did it you does, read that? Yeah. I only know that because he, Marcus <laughs> selfishly said upstairs that he was hoping he didn't get to he didn't get to a thousand because the, they're obviously playing the Swans this week and wanted to live out the there glory. Was, there was <laughs> part had of second that. thoughts did, about did, it. There was part of it. Did you it would have been great to be a part of? Yeah. But upon seeing the, the vision, I think I was happy. That <laughs> it did, did you read week. that Lance Franklin said that you were the best player in the game? By a long way. Did you read that, those quotes? I heard someone had yeah, sent it to me, so I, I'm aware. That's a um, really nice compliment from one of the rap. best players that's ever good played rap. the game. Yeah, it is. And then, once again, it's, it's a moment sort of in time that you... Like, I won't forget the moment that I sort of read it or had it sort of made, made aware to me to think that um, probably the way that I view him, to, to hear sort of those words from, from him make it quite, yeah, special. Terrific. What about Jack? <laughs> You stay. We'll bring him. What are we dealing with here? Marcus, great to have you here. Thanks Thank a lot. you. Thanks for having me. Uh,